Gangsters on the beat. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Moni Sierra. How you doing today? I am doing okay. And if you don't already know me, my name is Monique. I'm a military wife. We are stationed in Grafenville, Germany. And if you are into vlogs, hauls, and bariatric surgery, then you've come to the right place. So do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe, and you won't regret it. Turn the notification bell because I post every Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. You do not want to miss it. Also, comment down below on other things y'all want to see, and I'll most definitely get into it. So y'all, before we get into this video, check out this wave. 268.6. So yeah, as y'all can see, this week I actually gained a pound. Um, it happens. Nothing to be discouraged about. Um, everybody has their stall go up and down. As long as you're not gaining a whole bunch of weight, then you're straight. It's, it's gonna drop back down. So I'm not discouraging myself about it at all. So y'all, today, I wanted to talk about regret. Do I regret getting this surgery? So, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. So, do I regret having surgery? I say about 85% no, and about 15% yes. I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. But I'm gonna give you the no part first. So, of course, the number one reason why I don't regret it is because your girl three and a half months post-op and they lost 54 pounds. Like, who could lose that much in three and a half months? That you like a hardcore workout person or something like that. I love that so much. I also say no because it gave me a huge insight on food. Like, before this, I wasn't reading labels like that at all. Like, I read them sometimes. I read the calories, but I never read the carbs, the sugars, the sodium. Like, I never looked at none of that. But since having this surgery, you have a different sight on um, your food. Like, you like, is this good for me? Like a lot of stuff that I used to love was bad for me. Um, I always wanted to get rid of bread in my life. And since the surgery, I maybe I tried to eat some bread a couple of times, but every time I eat it, it um, makes my stomach hurt. So yeah, bread wasn't a good thing for me at all. So I just decided to get rid of it all the way, which I always wanted to get rid of bread. Um, but yeah, it makes you not want to eat certain things that you know is bad for you, but you liked it before you got the surgery. So. That's a good thing that I can say about it. I've also stopped eating like a lot of starchy products like potatoes, rice. I might have a little rice here and there, but it'd be a small amount because I, you know, it, it's just too much. Um, and I substitute that starchy product for like a piece of meat, a piece of protein. Um, it also helped me bring my protein up a little bit more than what I used to. Like, I'm a meaty person, like I love meat, but I never knew that protein was like a huge factor in weight loss until I had the surgery. So, all them times when I was trying to lose weight, I wasn't doing it the right way, you know? So, that helped a lot. But that thing, it brought, it brought my self-confidence up. Even though I had this chipped tooth right now, which I will be getting fixed. Um, like, I look at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting smaller. Like, I feel so good about myself. Um, and I put on, the only thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that in my know, but I put on an outfit that I haven't worn, yes. I'm like, oh my God. Like, um, it's this skirt. I'm gonna put a picture right here. It's this skirt that I had on in that picture that's 
um that you know that skirt actually couldn't button but i love that outfit so much i had on a long shirt so nobody couldn't see it but that skirt wasn't even buttoned in that picture um but i was determined i'm like i am going to be losing weight because that was last year when i took that picture it was like last year july i was like i'm determined i'm gonna be smaller and i'm gonna be able to put that skirt on i put it on yesterday but i didn't realize that i broke the um the zipper so it's over with but I put it on yesterday and I buckled it. Do y'all know how happy I was? I was like, oh my God. Now I gotta get me another blue jean outfit because that outfit was so wired to me. But yeah, stuff like that. Like when I put on clothes, I'm like, oh my God, I can actually fit this. Like, wow. Um, It just feels so good. This one is like 50-50, but the smaller portions. I'm happy that I eat smaller now. Um, I when before my surgery, I really didn't eat. I just took my whole nose ring out. <laughs> I really didn't eat um, a lot, but I ate more than what I'm eating, of course. Okay, it's back in. <clears throat> I got such a small one. It's irritating. I'm waiting on my other ones to come. But yeah, I used to eat small, but it wasn't as small as I eat now. So, um, that's on the yes and no side because I do kind of miss eating like a good meal. Um, and you know, being set. Now I have to worry about just make sure that I'm not eating too much. I don't, um, okay, so I'm gonna talk about the 15% the on the yes. So, the first thing that I regret about this surgery is buying a new wardrobe, y'all. Like, I was just talking to my husband last night because I went out with my friends last night and I have so many clothes that it's new and I'm like, bruh, I went downstairs to our storage unit and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try on some of these clothes to see if it look right on me. Literally everything is baggy now. So I'm like, bruh, I bought all these clothes, but this was before I thought about having a surgery. I bought all these clothes and now I can't even wear them. So that's, that's kind of disappointing because child, I'm cheap. And now I have to buy a new wardrobe because I like my clothes to be fitted. I don't like them to be baggy at all. Um, so I'm like, bruh, I gotta buy me a new wardrobe, which is also a good thing as well because I've been wanting to wear some cute little crop tops and stuff like that. And now my stomach is a little bit flatter so I can wear that stuff, but not, you know, not sure my stomach, I'm wearing high waisted, but I could do stuff like that and feel good about it. But it's just the fact that I got so many clothes that are big now. That's what I regret about that. Another thing that I regret, which I'm gonna make a separate video about this as well, um, is the hair loss situation. Okay, so if you didn't know, um, if you get bariatric surgery, you will have hair loss um, around months three and month six. My hair is my baby, y'all. Like, y'all know, I went through, if y'all been watching me since I started doing YouTube, for real, for real, y'all know that I was bald head. <laughs> I cut my hair off fully and I had started over because my hair was so damaged. And then I grew it out and then I decided to get locks. I haven't done nothing to my hair in a while. I'm basically gonna just keep it like this until my birthday because I, I'm gonna get some box braids in my head. But, I'm not losing hair hair, but I'm losing stuff in my edges right now. Um, and it worries me. Like, I, I am scared to death. I do not want to lose a lock. I do not want to start over. I just want to be the way I am. My hair is growing in the back, but it's thin because of this surgery. I am just scared to death about that. But it still doesn't stop me from, you know, having the surgery. Literally, two days before I was gonna have the surgery, 
I was watching actually this this um this lady named Kelsey Danielle, I think that's her name. I watched her YouTube and she was talking about hair loss. And I was like, what? Hair loss? But I was like, I'm still gonna do it. I, Cause I mean, it's gonna grow back. It will grow back. You just have to deal with it. I do take hair, skin, and nail gummies, vitamins, biotin vitamins. I use keratin shampoo, conditioner, and I oil my hair with all type of different type of oils just to make sure that I don't lose that much. But I also heard that um, you, even though you're doing that stuff, it's not gonna help. So it's just to be on the safe side. Y'all, I'm actually trying to sit here and try to figure out what else I regret, but I don't really regret anything else. Those are the main two things that really got to me. Um, but as you can see, I say way more yeses than way more noes. I mean, way more noes than way more yeses. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was a video on regretting VSG. Um, yeah, I don't regret it, y'all. I don't. I have my moments where I'm like, what the hell? But I would never take it back. This is the best decision I ever made in my life. And I'm so happy that I did it because I'ma look back at this video a year from now and I'm be like, you did a good job, girl. You did a good job. And that's all that matters. So yeah, like I said before, please like, share, subscribe, you won't regret it. Turn the notification bell because I post every Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time and you do not want to miss it. Also comment down below on things y'all want to see and I'm going to definitely get into it. And until further ado, i see you guys next time. Peace. I just be rolling, cause it be toting. Driving my car like it's stolen. All of my weed to be potent. Have you floating? Got your bitch sucking and choking. All of this weed I be talking, you know I be smoking. All of my diamonds be frozen. I start work through the night. Got your girl and she won't pipe. But she gotta stay one night. Fuck it, she just on light. Put the lean, no ice. Fuck it, fuck it, no wife. Only fear God that's right. And I might take your life. Make a nigga see the light. Make a nigga have no life. Stay real sharp like a knife. Always take a big pipe. Only sleepless nights. Uh.